Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. And we got your morning update on the goings and happenings in this crazy world during our tribulation period or, well, however you look at it, whether you think we've already gone through it or heading towards it, well, we still got a ways to go. We still got a ways to go and we got some bumpy road ahead. You know, it, it hit me because there was a comment. Uh, somebody said, I can't believe you only have uh, 20,000 subscribers on EE Arts. So Evolutionary is the original channel. Again, everything is up on Patreon. Um, <clears throat> everything goes up on Patreon, I should say. There are some older, very old uh, videos that still might be rummaging on uh, Evolutionary. Right now, EE Arts has 2,000 videos, 2,000, yes. Uh, when you see like this right here, you could link to Hearts Home and Evolutionary from it, as well as our website, Ko-Fi and Patreon. And there's also a link uh, over there for the, um, for the website. And then also Evolutionary has been stuck at 66,000 since we mentioned uh, the V thing back in May of 2019 before it all really, really happened. And they haven't let us go past 66K. Actually, they stuck us at 66, 6, 666. You know, they, they're, they're so humorous, aren't they? Okay, so make sure you are subscribed. Uh, and I do want to thank so many of our Patreons that still take the time out to go and thumbs up over on those two channels. We were talking about the purge and how it feels like the entire country and per perhaps the entire world is getting ready for a purge. And it turns out that the purge is trending. It, it was the hot topic on, on X Twitter. Oh, we're going to go into what he's talking about here. But it is obvious that it's, it's an organized chaos that we're facing. Now, this says a rare scene, both northern and southern Israel is under attack at the same time. Now, there were first uh, notifications going out that Israel was attacking Lebanon. Well, Israel's been attacking Lebanon and Syria <clears throat> and more for quite a while. But this is a little bit different in that sirens are going off in both directions. It isn't long until uh, so much other prophecy starts getting fulfilled. Interesting, this morning I'm getting all these, the media can't be played. Now, whether it's my own um, glitch on this particular computer, I, I'm not sure whether it's an X glitch, glitch could be. Uh, it says Yemen's Houthis are attacking Israel. Sirens are roaring in Eliot uh, as Yemeni ballistic missiles approach. Hmm. Iran and Russia clear the space over Syria in preparation for more direct action against Israel and the U.S. As we've said, it does feel that the prophecy of Nostradamus of an allied Islamic invasion and attack, it looks more likely than ever. So Moscow, Tehran, and Damascus are planning possible offensive operations over Lebanon and Syria during Ramadan. Hmm. Yes, things that make you go, um, and, and yes, Cindy is right here. My better half is right here. She is getting ready to do some Vedic astrology for people uh, as our day will begin after this video. It's always super fun. Absolutely. So, you know, I just thought there was so much going on uh, even after the, l the late video last night as I was checking the news at 3 a.m. and uh, was starting to piece together a 3 a.m. video there, but we did go back to bed uh, for a few more hours. Three Palestinians, part of Alaska Martyrs Brigade. We were talking about people not being allowed to go into uh, the Alaska Mosque. They were limiting the numbers going in and literally beating people to keep them from heading in that direction have been arrested on suspicion of terrorism in Milan, Italy. Ah, Nostradamus again. It looks like he, he did have a, a good uh, copy of the plan because, you know, Italy and France, these, these are areas that these 
clever men that go ahead without laws end up burning up and doing a lot of um, sabotage to before the big invasion comes in. So it's believed they were planning suicide attacks against civilians and military targets on foreign soil. Israel wants one extradited. Again, if you are close to a military target, uh, have a heightened state of awareness. It wouldn't be the best place to be in these times with what's what's coming. Uh, for decades, Israel's been controlling water access in occupied Palestinian territories. It, it, what they've had to go through is something most of us just, we haven't experienced that type of trauma. But again, we might, and we're very, very soft in the Western nations overall. And that's part of what's what leads these people that do the studies talking about, well, what would, it, what would happen if we had an EMP or a CME and we lost the grid? The, the sad reality is you know, we, we, are, we are not used to that type of life in the West. Most of us, some people homestead, some people live off grid and they got it all under control. So, you know, again, it depends on your situation. Uh, it's definitely a good time to learn more about being self-sufficient and, you know, how to provide for yourself if there is no grid. Would you have any water? Don't count on public water supplies. Tragedy for humankind and disgrace for civilization is how China describes Israel's relentless and ruthless attacks on Gaza. Paving the way for the kings from the east. It's so easy to see the plan. Now there's been five U.S. Emb embassies evacuated with the uh, evacuation of the U.S. embassy in Haiti under the Biden administration. You know, there's it, it's just it's it's an atrocity to watch them paint it all as if everything is wonderful. And when I think back at it. Because Cindy was picking up on perhaps it's the Capitol and the White House uh, that are the grand theater filled up that get destroyed in that other quatrain. Um, just how it is a theater, you're watching them applaud, uh, you know, as this either actor or clone comes in that's not even the original JB. Applaud what? It, it, you know, this, this is an atrocity what's going on, and yet they celebrate the darkness because they truly do celebrate the darkness. Uh, Granada is uh, a place that people will go uh, on vacation, and here you have a couple, and uh, you know, I guess you could call them elderly, uh, 70s and 60s. They were murdered during a sailing trip in the Caribbean, after their yacht was hijacked by three escaped cons. It, horrible. Murdered and tossed overboard into uh, the water. So again, we send our prayers for them and their families. It's just, it, it is the times that we're in. Not that these type of things didn't happen in the past, but it certainly seems like they're happening uh, kind of everywhere more often. I'm sure coverage is up too with this world and the internet uh, being the way it is. Pittsburgh police will no longer respond to calls for theft, harassment, criminal mischief, and burger burglary. Kid you not. Only 20 officers are going to be patrolling Pittsburgh between 3 a.m. and 7 a.m. Oh, there's that purge thing again. As they are short, uh, uh, quite a number of officers, there's just nobody to take the place. Wasn't there a movement out there, defund the police? Well, well, now you can see why. And then Hartford, Connecticut. I know Hartford very well. Uh, Hartford, Bridgeport, and New Haven are the three big uh, cities in Connecticut. Not really big, but the biggest in Connecticut. Connecticut, very, very left-leaning. And here you have... Citizens getting organized through their church and patrolling the streets day and night, picking up trash, too. I mean, literally cleaning up uh, because the crime has gotten so bad, so many murders. And yet, you know, the mayor told them not to do that. And they, they get no support from any uh, any of the political structure, per se. Uh, again, it is what it is. The chaos is something that's used as a tool and more and more people are understanding it and these people just want to make their neighborhoods cleaner and safer again 
Yeah, it's some there's some scary places in in those big three cities in Connecticut, for sure. I've been there. <laughs> Russian-made MiG-29s demonstrate Indian aircraft carrier cross-deck capacity. So these two aircraft carriers India got from the Soviet Union. They're very, very old. They've been refurbished, uh, and they're flying MiG-29s. What will India do? They are the iron bricks. Will, will they join? I, I still feel they're going to stay off to the side. And not directly uh, get in the middle uh, of this WW3. Yet they are over there um, showing power, so to speak, where we've had uh, Yemen and the missile attacks on various ships. So, you know, it's something to be aware of and watch when you put India's 1.4 billion with China's 1.4 billion. You almost have half the planet right there. And India, at the same time, implements, quote-unquote, anti-Muslim 2019 citizenship laws weeks before election. So says Al Jazeera. Now, Al Jazeera is obviously predominantly Muslim. And India and Pakistan were, in fact, uh, established in our modern times, uh, one to be a more Hindu state, the other to be a dominant Islamic state. And we could see how how clearly it's all about religious divide. And yet another plane incident. Emergency services in New Zealand treated 50 people for injuries after passengers and crew were thrown into the ceiling. One person in critical condition. This is another Boeing. Now this is this was a 787. So it's a different type of Boeing, but it's more problems and i'm just i'm sometimes i'm almost amazed at what the guides give us uh way in advance of things and then we see how what they gave us is is coming to pass and so obviously there's going to be a lack of people to fly these things there already is there's going to be a lack of qualified professionals to fix these things there probably already is and I think there's still other things in play there, too, that maybe we don't, I don't get yet. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's, I was just um, <clears throat> speaking with someone yesterday when it comes to translating. When you get information, the translation can be very, very tricky. Like sometimes you might get um, a certain name. Let's say that name is Rosemary. But is it a name Rosemary or is the translation Rosemary a plant? So as in, you know, a medicinal plant. So I mean, translation can be a little bit weird, but we just do our best with what we have and then try to be, um, this is where it helps to allow the guards of the belief system down completely because you allow yourself to encircle the idea of, of the translation and get as much out of it as you possibly can. So that's my little tidbit today for translating. So it came out that this picture of Kate Middleton didn't feel right and it wasn't right because now she's coming out in the open, at least, you know, via email and messaging uh, saying, yeah, you're right. Uh, it was photoshopped. I photoshopped it. I'm such an amateur. I did a bad job. I don't know. You know I'm just wondering. It looks like a little reptilian slit in there. But anyway. Yeah, everything has been a big show, and and for me too, it's like uh, the why people fixate or even put royals up on thrones. That all's got to go. That all has got to go. That's part of our problem. Uh, is again thinking some uh, uh, one section of humanity, which doesn't really show a lot of humanity, is somehow above the rest. And remember Canada with their assisted dying laws. Here you have France, and, and oh, you know, <laughs> there's pictures of Trudeau and Macron in very, very compromising embraces. Yeah, and they both work for, you know, what do you want to call him? You know, the guy that should have a mini-me running around next to him, Dr. Evil. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. It, it, it shouldn't be surprising. And here's another problem with the media can't be played. Grocery prices have skyrocketed 25% since 2019. Mm, 
uh, I, in some things, I think have done way more than that. Some things have, have doubled. It's it's insane out there. Really, truly, it, it's crazy. One person said to me when I was checking out, what are you going to cook with all this? And Because I was checking out with uh, a ton of organic celery. I'm not cooking anything. We juice it because it helps us detox. Oh, okay. <clears throat> he said, oh, we're, we're planting like 50 fruit trees and we're putting in raised gardens because we're just going to try to be as self-sufficient as possible. 70% of Canadians believe the nation's broken and the Trudeau government is not focused on issues that matter. They still don't get it if they don't realize that the government is is doing its own thing. It's functioning exactly as it's intended. It just is not supposed to, it, you know, it's not working for us. That's the big reveal. They they're not doing this for us. No, but this is a big reveal. Oppenheimer has uh, got so many awards for Oscars. What what's Oppenheimer about? Well, you know, Oppenheimer, that guy that said, now I am, he quoted uh, the Bhagavad Gita, now I am death. He's, he's quoting the words that echo the power of these weapons that we see in the Vedic lore uh, that are truly at least nuclear weapon uh, level, if not higher. And, and in reality, I think far higher than that. Why would you have Oppenheimer sweep? Why would you put out that movie at this point in time? Well, maybe they're trying to give us the impression that this will be something that will be utilized in 2024. You know, that's the other thing that's always trending at the moment. The purge is up on top. But nuclear, uh, nuclear and nuclear war are, are things that have been trending a lot because there's been direct outright threats about this. So seeing Oppenheimer win all these awards, I think that's another tell. Hollywood's always telling us things. The Simpsons are always telling us things. You know, when it's time to get away from the big uh, things that are dropping down from the sky, you know, this kitty didn't move quick enough. You got to do it. And I, again, don't think we're going to see a nuclear Armageddon, but they might tell us that it happened. It, it might be, you know, rods from God. It could be other sorts of weaponry that we just don't even understand mm -hmm. i'm looking at this this is so cute i mean the puppy puppy said well that looks like a mighty fine bed you have there let me make sure it's in good and good cozy condition for you that's super sweet absolutely again we invite everybody to become a patreon unique videos go up there several times a week much love thanks for your support look forward to your comments source bless and namaste namaste